Morgan everyone! So for today's video I wanted to do a chatty get ready with me style video because I'm here in Korea and a lot of you guys who follow me on my social media have been asking me what makeup I'm wearing on my face and since I'm traveling I've been wearing the same makeup every single day. I recently partnered with Ulta Beauty so I have been trying and using a lot of really cool products from a lot of different brands so I wanted to share those with you guys as well. So before I get too chatty let's go ahead and get started. Now starting off, I wanted to show you guys the final look. So to achieve this look in this video, I'm going to be using a lot of products from Ulta Beauty's 21 Days of Beauty, which is the biggest beauty event of the year. So let's go ahead and move on to the first step. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my sunscreen because that's kind of like a boring step. Now next, I'm going to prime my face because I'm wearing this makeup all day, so I need it to last all day. And I have been using this Becca Backlit Priming Filter. And this stuff is amazing. It has like an iridescence, pearly kind of look to it. Underneath my foundation, I really love this stuff because it kind of gives me that like translucent glow from within kind of look. And so I love that it gives me that je ne sais quoi. And I'll show you guys a close up here in a second, but it just really helps the skin look healthy. So next I like to just kind of define my brows underneath. And I do have my eyebrows microbladed, so I don't have any makeup in my eyebrows right now, but I just kind of like to add a little bit extra. I just, my eyebrows for me are something that I like to look really clean and perfect. It's from It Cosmetics. And this is cool because it's a universal type of eyebrow product. So it comes in one shade and it literally just makes my eyebrows look flawless. I don't know if you guys can like really see the difference there. But see how I kind of just draw it underneath and kind of like define the tail there. And I just feel like it looks so much cleaner. So when I'm just trying to look a little bit nicer for the day, I throw this in. So next, of course, I'm going to apply a shimmery neutral color on my eyelid. I usually just kind of go with more neutral types of looks when I'm kind of not wanting to think about <laughs> what I want my makeup to look like. I just kind of want it to look nice and clean and not too heavy. So. I just apply a light shimmery color to my lid and then I just blend a matte brown into my crease. So as I was mentioning in this video, Ulta Beauty is having their 21 days of beauty and it's kind of funny because I can actually remember when I was a kid, when Ulta Beauty first opened in my area, they used to have like these little like first hundred customers or something get to come in and get like little goodies or like a little sample goodie bag and I used to beg my mom to take me there and so I could get my little goodie bag and buy some makeup from Ulta Beauty. And what's funny too is it's like Ulta Beauty was for me like the first place I bought makeup and got really interested. I could like go somewhere and kind of look at all the makeup. So 21 Days of Beauty for me is also kind of nostalgic in a sense because I used to follow their like little calendar and be like, oh, if I go in this day, I can get this product that's from a really nice brand and I can get a good deal or I get a little freebie or something like that. So it's something that I used to actually really closely follow when I was first getting into makeup. And I could try a lot of brands that I hadn't tried before that, so. And so next I'm just going to apply my winged liner, which again, you guys have seen me do a thousand times over. And so I'm just gonna apply that really quick and then get back to you. If you guys can hear that kind of like rumbling noise in the background, I'm staying by kind of like a railroady track, so that's actually the train, so sorry about that. All right, got my eyeliner on. It's really hard for me to talk actually when I'm applying eyeliner, so didn't wanna mess that up. Next, I'm going to apply one of my favorite mascaras. This is from Tarte, and this is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This mascara is actually one of my sister's favorites as well, and during the 21 days of beauty at Ulta Beauty, we usually go and pick this up because it's amazing, like look at that. Bam! Already got amazing eyelashes, I'm not even done yet. Oh no. I always do that. <laughs> okay, well, ignoring this, look how amazing my eyelashes look. And trust me, my eyelashes aren't that great, so. Now I'm gonna go back in and tight line my eye. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using this Tarte Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. This thing is so cool. Like, self sharpening eyeliner. And I just like kind of close my eye on the eyeliner. What I've been doing to number one, make my eyeliner look really dark and to make it last all day since I'm running around kind of, you know, trying to film, not coming home, not able to touch up my makeup, I just kind of run it over 
this part as well because it just darkens it and then make it makes it last all day so now I can probably go and wipe this guy off so for my foundation I'm going to be applying it with this it cosmetics brush for Ulta Beauty and this is in their airbrush smoothing foundation number 102 you guys know that I have another one of these I believe it's number 104 and these are so amazing these literally airbrush your foundation so I've been in Korea now for about a week yeah, and so far so good I've done a lot of really cool filming for you guys at least I think it's fun I've been kind of like looking at your guys' feedback when it comes to what I should do on social media. So I read your guys' comments on my Instagram pictures or sometimes I'll read your snaps. I'll try to check out Twitter. Twitter I don't use that often, it's kind of bad, but I kind of try and look at what you guys are requesting so I know what kind of content you guys want to see. So seems like the shopping stuff you guys really like and I really like it as well as well as kind of like the eating stuff. So tomorrow I'm actually going out, I'm going to be filming some eating stuff for you guys, hopefully. But as you can see, sorry, I got distracted talking. Foundation done in like a minute. So easy. So now I've got to set this foundation so it doesn't move around. And I'm gonna use this Lorac Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder. And I like this because it adds a little bit of extra coverage to my face, but this is so finely milled, it doesn't clump up. So underneath my eyes, it just looks seamless. And also doesn't crease or dry out my skin because it has been super cold here. And so my skin has been super dry. And of course, my skin's like freaking out because the weather change and just climate and I'm sleeping and eating differently. So this makes my skin look like it's not freaking out. So I really like this. Actually, it was funny. I wore this and the first day we were in Korea, my mom looks at me and she goes, what are you wearing on your face? Because it looks, your face looks flawless. Like it looks like it's Photoshopped. And I was like, I think you're referring to the powder because the powder is what's making a diff what I'm wearing differently than normal, so it's like a new product for me, and she was like, that looks amazing. I was like, I know. Next, I'm gonna apply my blush, and this I have been obsessed with, and I'm really excited. It's part of the 21 Days of Beauty because it's the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blushes. These are so good, and these are so pigmented. So lately, I've been using the color Love Hangover, but I actually, Three other shades, I'm gonna swatch them for you guys, do cutaway so you guys can see them in case you're interested in picking these up because these are so good and of course, adorable. And like I said, it's gonna last me forever because I have been using this for quite some time now and like doesn't even look like I've been using it. So how I use it because like I said, it's so pigmented, I literally take my brush and like tap it three times and then I just apply it onto my cheeks because you're gonna see. See, just pick up a little bit more. It's very buildable, so I'd recommend just like picking up a teeny tiny bit and then going in, seeing how it looks and then seeing if you need more because I'm literally just like tapping my brush in here and it's like full blown blushy blush. So look how pretty that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some swatches here so you guys can see what the other shades that I have look like. Now I wanted to show you guys swatches of the Too Faced Love Flush blushes that I own. So first, again, here is Love Hangover, which is the one I applied on my cheeks. This next one, Justify My Love, is a nice, plummy, mauve shade. Following that, we have a more peach tone, and this one is called I Will Always Love You, and this is a beautiful tangerine coral shade. Finally, we have this guy here, and this one is called How Deep Is Your Love, and I'd say this one is my second favorite shade because it just looks good with every type of makeup look. Finally, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I've been wearing on my lips, and for my lips, I have two different options, kind of a daytime and a nighttime look. So you guys know me, I love my mauve shade, so I've really been enjoying this color from Butter London. This is one of their Plush Rush lipsticks, and I'm also partial to it because the shade is called Lucky, which is the name of my cat who I miss dearly and it's just this my lips but better the ultimate kind of look and these are so nice because they blend on really well got it on my teeth can't talk while you're doing lipstick 
because I just like to give my lips a little bit of a little extra something something because like I said it's pretty dry here and I kind of just need a gloss because of that I've been using these buxom full-on lip creams and on top of lucky from butter London I have been using mudslide and this is beautiful on its own but I I just like the feeling of these have you if you guys have ever felt these they're beautiful and tingly and just feel really fresh and it smells amazing and so that's the look that I've been wearing most of the time during the daytime. It's just like the ultimate combination. Now I'm going to show you guys what I've been wearing at night. And usually I always go for a red lipstick because I feel like red lips really make you look classic and like you put a lot of effort into getting ready. Even though if you're like me, you only spend like 10 or 15 minutes. So again, I'm starting off with the Butter London Plush Rush Lipstick. This color is in the shade Impulsive. Like look at this red. <sighs> it's amazing. Huh? So good, right? <laughs> so beautiful. And then of course, I apply a little buxom on top, and this one is in the color Cherry Flip. By the way, these are really nice on their own. I just really love layering these because I think it's kind of like, gives it a little extra pop. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. I kind of talked about not only the Ulta Beauty stuff, but I also talked about kind of what I've been doing here in Korea and what I've been wearing on my face. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything else you guys want me to see vlogging, eating, doing while I'm here in Korea. And don't forget to check out the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta Beauty. I will leave links in the description box below if you wanna check out a lot of the products that I talked about in this video and showed you guys. If you wanna pick them up yourselves and kind of see what days they're going to be having the brands and products. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!